For customization, I prepared a small branding. It consists of a logo, typography, and two brand colors. So let's customize our template to match this branding. First thing I want to do is to select the primary color. I like this plugin to generate shades. I'm gonna do it to the secondary color too. And now what I need to do is to copy the values one by one into our Webflow project. The entire project is built with variables. So the only thing you need to do is to input the shades and the rest such as surface colors, border colors will be generated based on the, on the shades. For shades, I'm using Tilewind uh, framework strategy. I name my shades from 50 to 950. Just watch out, currently Webflow does not allow to sort uh, variables, so it's not in order. But once they allow it, I will quickly get it fixed. So let's do that. I'm gonna go back and forth and I will do this to all values. Now I completed the primary color and I'm gonna do exactly the same thing to the secondary color. I just completed the secondary color too. And as you can see, my uh, tokens have been updated. So let's see how it looks like on the side. I'm gonna close variables, voila. Here we have the customized colors on our website. Next step is typography. For typography, let's head over to site settings, fonts. Let's delete the fonts that are in the current template. I'm using DM Sans for headlines and Roboto for paragraphs. All right, that's it. Let's head back to designer. Let's head over to variables all the way down to typeface. My primary typeface, typeface is Roboto and secondary typeface is DM Sans. And if I close the variables, I can see that the project is updated. Couple of clicks and we have customized typography and colors. And the next thing we want to do is to update the logo. So I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna export it. I'm gonna upload the logo to the project and I'm gonna simply update the picture. Don't forget to write the alt description. All right, so with just a couple of clicks, we updated the colors and typography. And now I also want to update the pattern that's on the background of each hero, sec hero section. Let's go to Figma. Let's go to this grid. If you want this Figma file, it's free. Uh, just send me a confirmation of the purchase and I will transfer the Figma file to you. I'm gonna upload the graphics. And I'm gonna head over to this section. Select the image. I will slightly update its width, 960 centered. Let's do a little more. I like this, voila. The hero section is customized. Last thing I'd, I recommend to check is components page because on the components page, you also have animations. All animations of hero sections are done with, this, with these three classes is first scrolling, is second scrolling, and is third scrolling. 
If you wish to change how hero sections are animated, simply head over to interactions and update the interactions. And that's it. That's the first round of customization elevate template. If you would like to continue further, you obviously need to update the copy. I love to use ChatGPT for that. And if you want to improve customer experience, um, you can also implement make.com for automations. You can set what's going to happen when a customer submits the form, if it's going to land to your Google Sheet, it can send an email to the customer, etc. If you need assistance with that, just contact me. Uh, the link is below this video. And if you simply have some questions, ask them in the comment sections and I will answer everything. Thank you for your attention. I hope this was useful. Have a good day. Ciao.